Rolls. User roles. Oh, excellent. So another big part of what we need to do is identify who, who is it that's going to be using this system? Who is it that once we're done and it's out in the wild, Thank you. <laughs> is going to be going to the website, logging in, and making use of the website? I'll throw it out to you guys. Who do you think is going to be using it? What are some of the major roles, some of the major players on this website? Sponsors. Sponsors? All right. <clears throat> Others? Got to have your participants. All right. All right. So let's talk about participants. So who, who are the participants? Are we talk When I think of the participants in the sense of the user group, I'm thinking like maybe you guys as attendees, but maybe participants to the website can mean something different. What does it mean to you? Uh, are you thinking mostly attendees, the well, average that, user? Yeah, that's kind of a question. You could separate attendees and speakers. Or, you know, facilitators. Okay. I like that. So I'm going to just invent that here. Um, I don't care as much about my, my spelling, so if it's spelled wrong, sorry guys, suck it up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, attendees, speakers, I like that. <clears throat> Who else might want to use this site? Um, the attendees and speakers, what might they be coming to look at? Schedule? All right. So how did that how does that schedule get there? Organizer. An organizer? All right. Admin. Admin. Are those different roles? That's a good one. Is that a different role? Are admins different than organ organizers? Uh, John, did you say organizer? What do you think? You're the your product owner. Do you think it's different? Uh, if you don't mind me poking. Could be, but it uh, doesn't have to be. All right. For sake of right now, let's just call them admin all around. All right. <coughs> Are y'all done with this? Yeah, let's just go ahead. Sounds good. <coughs> Excuse me. So, any others? Maybe volunteers or volunteers. People who are going to be behind the scenes that there might be organization for the user group beforehand that might need to be a centralized place for Okay, do you think that do you like think they would be different than admins? Do you think they would be an admin but maybe like I don't know, some somehow a smaller admin, not necessarily maybe admins too generic. I think you just call it staff. I mean yeah. someone's gotta take out the trash. <laughs> you wanna coordinate that? Yeah. 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 I kind of like where you're going with that. I kind of think of the speakers as kind of the staff. Those speakers, you'll have people behind the scenes making things happen, and then you're going to have people who are there part of the experience going through the program. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do it. Mm -hmm. All right. Your casual users that just want to see if they want to participate in the user group. I got just so somebody uh, who might be hitting browsers. the website who doesn't have a login. Right. Mm -hmm. So, are we okay with just maybe just calling them a guest? Perspective, perspective. Maybe. I like that. We wanted, to, we wanted to be a member, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Only twenty nine ninety five. <laughs> All right. Does anyone think recruiter would be different than sponsor? I was just struggling with that. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. like, like somebody recruiting people from. Like for jobs from the yeah. group. Yeah, a lot of times, just knowing user groups, they won't let recruiters come unless they sponsor them too. But then, I think that's fair. Yeah. So, um, you remind me, are we making a, a website for like a Nebraska code camp, or are we making a website for a bunch of .NET users? Well, I'm confused. It's for a user group. Yeah. Right. I mean, we are not generic. Yeah, my my yeah. I mean, it, it's not specifically for a, an event like Code Camp. Like some kind of professional association. Yeah, it's a user group. Yeah. Monthly yeah. meetings. Which Something like the .dot net user group. You might not have attendees or speakers on a website. Uh, you might. I mean, you might. You know, at, at a user group, you, you know, you have a speaker who is coming there to. Yeah. Um, so they they meet on a regular basis. Yeah. Club. Like yes. Club. Yep. Not to give yeah, it. Like a club. Yeah, that's good. Club. But but at the yeah, management right. level, it's it's single source. It's not. We're not going to open this up and let 
everyone do their own user groups. It's always going to be managed by XYZ Incorporated. Right, yeah. By my company. That's right. That's right. <laughs> that's right. His company. Um, that's a great question because a conference would have a whole lot of extra logistics and things that would be thrown into it, right? So for, for the sake of less logistics, his company's a lot smaller than that. <laughs> so, all right, so we have sponsors, participants, attendees, speakers, admin, prospective member. You threw out, is a recruiter different than a sponsor? Um, that's a good question. It's probably a sponsor question since that's where the money's going to come from. Yes. That's a good call. What do you think? You know, do you have an opinion about that, John? Recruiter versus sponsor? Yeah, it's the product owner. You know, I would probably just lump them together. Yeah, me too. Okay. Um, event host. Yep. Yep, that's another good one. So, what do you all think about that? The event host. About who? The host. The, for instance, uh, we are in this facility. They should probably know it. <laughs> it's probably good, right? Right. They might they might want to know. So does everybody agree that the host would probably be a user? Yeah, so the host would be the person who has that location that would be where we would say, hey, this is hosted at. Because uh, how many of you have been to any of the Lincoln.net user group meetings? All right, just a few. Um, you may or may not know that those meetings move around. Periodically, they've been in the Assurity building for a long time now, which is great and uh, super awesome for Assurity to do that. But they, before that, they moved around quite a bit. Uh, they were very nomadic. And the Lincoln Agile community, it moves around every every event. <coughs> so I mean, every event is in a different location. Yeah. So the host, I think, is a pretty good uh, good user here. All right. So I'm thinking this is, seeming, this is seeming pretty solid. Is there anything, any other ones that anybody else can think of that? I'm going to question the host, okay. only because in what limited experience I have with facilities and setting those things up, usually they require you to work within their infrastructure, not the other way around. And, you know, that my, other people may have had different experiences, but if you're going to run out the lead, you're going to play by their rules. Right. Use their use yeah. Their sponsor list. Mm -hmm. So informational, you know, what's different about a host logging in and gathering information than any other participant? Okay, well, this might go down a little bit but, down in the weeds, but well, yeah, I mean, look, let's let's flush that out yeah. when we do the user stories. Maybe maybe we'll find that there really aren't any yeah. decent user stories for the host. I like that. Are you are you? Would you be okay with doing this yeah. here until we decide later? Hey, you know what? We we don't even have a story for them. Yep. So. I think I like that. That's good. That's that's good thinking. That's good. I hadn't thought about that. So I'll give you that one. <laughs> good. Well, can you guys think of any others? Um, product owner? Yeah, back there from the back right. Proposed reorganization. Okay. Well, they're not necessarily in a pecking I order, of, but. I, I kind of see it as like, if this is a club, I kind of <coughs> see it as, okay, we have members, mm -hmm. we have sponsors, mm -hmm. we have speakers. We have locations, contacts at those locations, and we might need to administer the website. Mm -hmm. So uh, your order would be admin's kind of at the bottom, the activities and stuff. Just okay, big buckets. Big buckets. I like that. Um, do you think that changes this very much? No, it's just some wordsmithing. Okay, I see what you're saying. This is a pretty good list. Oftentimes we'll get <clears throat> going in a meeting like this and we'll realize we completely forgot an important role. We'll yeah. say, oh, what? <laughs> we start thinking of features and we start adding roles to this list. But it gives us a really good start, starting point to start breaking down and, and basically putting ourselves in these people's shoes and saying, hey, what would I want if I was this role? So I think it's a good start. Yeah. And one thing that for instance, just happened to us the other day was we did a little training at the Department of Roads on this, and when we finished our meeting here, which we'll talk about later, we do a set amount of work after the meeting, and we found that a lot of our roles got renamed in a big way, because we had like 30 roles. It was huge, so we, we whittled that down to almost half the thing. It was like 10 or 20. <clears throat> yeah. 
So it's good to think of, and it definitely helps with clarification, especially with what we're going to move into next. So if anybody doesn't have any anything against this, thinks that this list is pretty good for right now, for a good start, and doesn't think of anything right now off the top of your head of somebody that's really missing, then I think we're good to move forward to the next part. All right, so then what we do once we have this established, unless you guys have anything real quick. Do you want me to write rolls up on a Yeah. Otherwise, there's already one up on the wall. Yeah. Might not hurt. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>